It looks like MediaTek is coming out the gate swinging, ready for 2023 because of that immensity. 9200 is looking like an absolute beast. And that's got me thinking, is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 dead on arrival and in trouble already? Well, let's break down what's new with MediaTek's latest flagship chipset and see if it can dethrone Qualcomm and even bring the fight to Apple's A16 chip. Yep, MediaTek are not wasting any time in making sure they're ahead of the game as the Dimensity 9200 is bringing not just the performance and efficiency gains you would expect to see from a new flagship chipset, but it's also leading away in a lot of new hardware, firmware, and software features that we've not yet seen, which in turn is looking to give you the most advanced smartphone mobile experience we've hopefully never seen yet. Now, the Dimensity 9200 is based on an eight core design with one high-end performance Cortex-X3 core, three Cortex-A715 cores, and four efficiency cores that are based on an A510 cores. Now, in the words of Floss, that's basically flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. And that ain't it because what really stands out is the fact that this will be the first chipset using TSMC's second generation 4 nanometer fabrication process. And as you know right now, TSMC are just running the game when it comes to producing the most efficient and consistent chip process. And that statement is true when you see the difference that the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 saw compared to the 8 Gen 1 which was using Samsung's 4 nanometer process. With all that in mind, MediaTek are claiming up to 12% faster CPU performance with 25% less power draw and 32% faster GPU performance with 41% less power draw. Now, speaking of the GPU, the Immortalis G715 is powering the graphics performance with features like hardware-based ray tracing and features like VRS, so, if you're a gamer, then things are looking right up there, especially with the optimizations for MediaTek's Hyper Engine 6.0. Now, if we go back to the things the Dimensity 9200 is bringing, first to the chipset, the second generation 4 nanometer TSMC process is one thing, but this should be the first chipset using LPDDR5X RAM, offering 13% more bandwidth. And to top it off, the 9200 should be the first to support UFS 4.0 storage, offering what should be the fastest storage you can potentially get right now on a smartphone. With the combination of using the Cortex-X3 and the A715 cores for the first time, LPDDR5X RAM, UFS 4.0, this is MediaTek pulling out all the stops for the 9200 and could seriously shift the tide in flagship chipsets when it comes to 2023. And hey, if you're enjoying this breakdown so far, then make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS, the Tech Lover Squad, so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. That way, let's continue with the breakdown. MediaTek ain't stopping there because when it comes to connectivity, they're bringing things up to and even ahead of standard because you can forget all about Wi-Fi 6 or even Wi-Fi 6E because it will be the first to offer support for Wi-Fi 7 in a smartphone, which means when paired with future Wi-Fi 7 routers, the connection speeds are going to be crazy, which is going to bring you even closer to that feeling of having a wired internet connection. Of course, 5G with sub 6 gigahertz and millimeter wave is here, and the latest Bluetooth 5.3 will make its way to the Dimensity 9200. All that being said, the part that really gets me excited is the new image signal processor ISP, especially as someone who really values having the best smartphone camera experience for both photos and videos. The MediaTek Image 890 ISP together with the MediaTek APU 690 AI engine is set to bring better 8K video at 30 frames a second with EIS stabilization while drawing less power and the ability to capture HDR video with multiple cameras. The cameras on our smartphones are the ones we use the most consistently and if MediaTek can bring the flagship level improvements and features to both photos and videos with the Dimensity 9200, then I'm all in to test it and see just how good it is. From the new Mirror Vision 890 display engine offering support for things like full high definition plus resolution with 240 hertz display panels, the second generation 4 nanometer TSMC process, the beast that is the Immortalis G715 GPU, the latest Wi-Fi 7, LPDDR5X RAM, UFS 4.0 support as a complete package. So far, the Dimensity 9200 is shaping up to be a big W for MediaTek. But not so fast because the real question is how soon are we going to see it in a flagship phone next year in 2023? And how well is it going to compete with the upcoming rumored Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 
and even against what Apple have with their A16 in the iPhone 14 Pro. We know Qualcomm have their Snapdragon Summit this month, November in Hawaii. And for sure, this is where we will see the follow-up to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which was previously on Samsung's 4 nanometer process. And I know for sure, with the stronghold and preference Qualcomm have in the smartphone chipset game right now, they ain't gonna sit down and let MediaTek have all the fun because I am sure they'll be bringing some of the latest tech in their chipsets and potentially a few ace up their sleeves to keep them very competitive. That reason alone probably means Qualcomm potentially don't have much to worry about for now, but with MediaTek laying down their cards first and showing what they've got with the upcoming 9200, never say never when it comes to how things will play out when it comes to this chipset performance comparison, especially when it comes to efficiency. For now though, MediaTek have played their cards with the 9200 and they're basically saying that the ball is now in your court, Qualcomm. And for that reason alone, I'm eager to see how this plays out. And for all you know, MediaTek might still have an ultra version of the Dimensity 9200 in the works, ready for midway through 2023.